back to my channel. In today's video, I am heavily inspired by Jennifer McGuire, and she made a shaped card using this Spellbinders uh, Wonderful Tulip foil and die set, and I'm going to do much the same. So I have my Spellbinders Glimmer Machine. It is heating up. Uh, this uh, set from Spellbind Spellbinders comes with matching stencils, and then a foil plate and a matching die. So it makes it very, very easy for you to not only make a shaped card quickly, but also make it very beautiful uh, and to color it in easily. You could always use your coloring medium of preference, but I have this foil system, so I'm going to go ahead and use that today. My glimmer system is heating up off to the side right there on the right, you can see that. What I've done is I have some copper foil and I have a card base made out of hammer mill cardstock. That is just a regular A2 size card, and I have put the pretty side of the foil touching the pretty or pattern side of the foil plate, and I've taped that in place uh, just so that I don't get any shifting, and I'm going to go ahead and let this heat up. This is a bit of a larger plate, so I'm going to let this heat up just a little bit longer. Uh, once that green light turns on, that means that you your uh, gray area is hot, and you can go ahead and foil that. I just realized that now I didn't actually hit the timer button, but it worked out fine. <laughs> You're supposed to hit the timer button and let it heat up longer, but I put that on there while it was heating, so it actually turned out just fine. So I um, unfolded that card base when I ran it through because I didn't want it to leave an impression on the inside of the card, um, but it really didn't... Uh, I think I could have gotten away had I not remembered to do that as well. Since I had everything out, I decided that I would make two cards. The first one was more of a coppery foil. This is um, from Spellbinders. And then this one is more of a brassy. Uh, it's more of like a cross between a champagne and a brass uh, gold foil. And I decided I would just make two cards. Again, since I had everything out, why not? I uh, followed the same process. Pretty side of the foil touching the pretty side of the plate. Let that heat up, hit the timer button. Once the timer button stops flashing, you can run it through your die cut machine to apply pressure and get that foil to transfer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to refold that card base um, and I'm going to apply the matching die and this just cuts out those blooms. So when I run that through my die cut machine, you will see that I have um, a shaped card. Uh, I did, this is me just going through and doing the gold foil um, and doing kind of the peel and reveal on that. There was just a little bit of over foiling kind of inside those areas right there where I'm touching, uh, but nothing outrageous, nothing that I really felt the need that I needed to go through and correct uh, with, a, with an eraser of any kind. Uh, I went ahead and ran those through my Spellbinders Platinum machine and there you see that we have a beautiful shaped little card. This is beautiful just like it is. You could definitely get away with just leaving it like this and putting a sentiment on it, but I wanted to go ahead and use those stencils. So I am using all Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated inks today, and I have placed the first stencil. There are six stencils, so three for the flowers and three for the greenery. And so I, um, with the gold foil one, no, excuse me, the copper foil one, I'm going to use the guava and watermelon, and then I believe it's cantaloupe. My favorite tulips are the ones that are kind of like a yellow to like a corally pinkish color. Those are my favorite tulips. I, I don't even know what their name is. and I struggle to find them, um, but they are my absolute favorite. And so I was kind of pseudo going off of that color scheme, at least with those two colors in gen general for these uh, shaped cards today. So I'm just going to go through and stencil each of these in and uh, go through each of the uh, six stencils. Like I said, there are three for the flowers and three for the greenery. Um, and I'm going to repeat the same greenery colors for both the copper and the gold foil, but I will change up the color of the flowers for each. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video here because it's a lot of repetition. Uh, so this is the second layer. I'm gonna use the watermelon ink for that. I am using um, my blending brushes, my larger blending brushes for these florals, um, just because there is one stencil um, image for each of these. Uh, there's one stencil and it's the next one that has like that lattice work on it. 
and I do switch to a smaller blending brush for that one just so that I don't run the risk of getting uh, green ink in that kind of different pattern off to that side and just getting ink where I didn't want it. So I am going through and using uh, more of the positively saturated inks. Uh, the greenery is the uh, Field, Fairway, and Sprout. And I just used the darkest, which is the, uh, I think it's Field, actually. Um, no, I think Field, Fairway, one of those two. Hold on. It is Field, yes. Field is the darkest green, and I use that for the actual stems of the flowers. Uh, and then, like I said, I kept the um, greenery the same, and then for the yellowy orange flowers, I used Melon, Cantaloupe, and Citrine. So these are both of them with them stenciled in, and now I am working on a sentiment. So. I'm using this Altenew Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to use the, I believe I used watermelon and cantaloupe inks, and I'm just going to use these as more of like encouragement, your kind of awesome cards, um, but you could definitely make these however you want. There is a sentiment in that uh, wonderful tulip stamp set, but I didn't want to use that. It didn't fit kind of where I think I'm going to end up sending these cards cards too, so I chose not to use that and I just pulled the sentiments um, from this Altenew set. So here I have uh, one of them and like I said, I think that is the cantaloupe ink and then I'm using the watermelon ink for the other one. Um, I'm going to use some Spellbinders and some Simon Says Stamp uh, dies to cut these out. Right here I have the Hero Arts uh, Stamp and Scrub Block or Scrubber Block. I just spray some stamp cleaner on there and then rub the stamp over it and then I dry it off with a towel. Uh, that seems to work really well for me and I think I mentioned before like when I often when I clean my stamps with just a just a towel um, I find that there's a lot of like little fuzzies and like lint on there and then sometimes when I go to stamp that transfers. Um, this little block has really cut down on that and I find that I get uh, it cleans really really well but I also don't get those little fuzzy transfers. Here I've cut those uh, sentiments out and now I'm using some Altenew Instant Dimension foam tape to add just a little bit di dimension behind these. Um, I felt like they needed a little something. They stand out fairly well but I wanted them to be a little bit more prominent and so putting just a little bit of dimension behind them uh, really helps. You could have cut out scraps of cardstock to place behind these. You could have um, almost made like a colored shadow layer uh, using some cardstock or you know direct paper ink blending uh, to make them have a little bit more ability to stand out. But I felt like just some instant dimension foam tape was sufficient and I will place this on there and then place them on the card. And the last thing I do is take a week of Stella glitter brush pen and I'm just going to apply some glitter. I thought I was just going to do it to the center of those flowers, but um, of that open tulip, but I decided that they all needed some sparkle and shine. So to each of the blossoms, I'm going to add uh, just some of this week of Stella. Um, I learned my lesson from a previous video. I, you know, primed it a little bit more off to the side <laughs> and not over my project. So I get this big blobby glitter mess. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that will finish off these cards. I did think about putting some, you know, sequins or something like that on there, and I decided that they were beautiful just like they were, and anything else would kind of distract. So that is it for today. I appreciate you spending time with me. I hope you feel inspired to make a shaped card. Um, you could take any coordinating die set and make a shaped card, um, or you can even fussy cut. But I hope you feel inspired, and we will see you next time. Thank you.